So, going to the track, and I am racing because I got VTEC working. Yes, I got it working last night, the night before. I had to wire in a relay from um, one of the available outputs from the ECU, A15, for the clutch, for the air conditioning was available. And so I just wired in a normal automotive relay with 12 volt switch power to two of the leads and um, one of the leads going to the VTEC solenoid and it worked. I forgot that my ECU, my P06, is not wired for VTEC. It doesn't have the necessary components they weren't put in, which would have made it a P28. So I'm going racing. I'll see you at the track. Okay, so here's what I did to hook up the VTEC. Um, you can see there's a wire coming in from there. That's come from the battery, 12 volt hot. And so you uh, take your normal auto relay, the 8630, 8787A, uh, 85. Um, those are your outputs. 87A is a short, so that doesn't have an output. But you have those four female ends coming out. You put the 12 hot, you split it into two, and you put it to 86 and 30, which are on the top. And then 85, the one on the front, goes from one of the available outputs and for this PO6 ECU, one of the available outputs was A15, which was the air conditioning clutch, which I don't obviously have anymore. And then the last one, 87, that is this green wire, which goes to, um, it goes to that black wire and it goes to the VTEC solenoid. So that was the issue, it was always getting 12 volts and uh, need to have switched 12 volts on an input and so that's what this automotive relay does it gets the input then it sends 12 volts to the VTEC solenoid when it gets that it's the point of this relay and now VTEC works baby okay so then I go and check everything and one thing I find that's annoying the new one I got is stainless steel a quarter inch size that's perfect it's nice and taut but the other one is gone and that happened on the way here so kind of upset about that uh, I mean, I tightened that thing as much as I could, so I'm not understanding. <sighs> a little disappointed, obviously, but it's all right. I got that one in, and that one's really tight, and the one down below is really tight, so it's not going anywhere. All right, so the car's all ready. It's not leaking anything. There might be a slight push of oil out the oil pan, and I can see exactly where. Uh, other than that, it's good. Um, so, so far as it's driven since the motor's been in it. So what I'm gonna make sure to do today is keep it under uh, 6,500 RPMs just because it's on the base map. I didn't get time to tune it after all the VTEC issues, which are now fixed. And um, really happy about that. And just, you know, watch tire pressures and things like that because it's basically on the same alignment it was before. And then I changed all the suspension components, uh, like the rear discs and things like that. So that's the goal for today and I'll see you out there.
tires the compound's too hard now too old so i'm gonna have to be more careful and i got a sound violation so i'm gonna have to obviously uh watch out for how hard in the throttle i am after turn five because that's where the meter is so all just the normal stuff i didn't have to deal with before getting used to definitely the manual rack that's a definite huge difference that i'm not used to yet um, just in the steering, just the handling is so different now. So I've just got to work on that stuff. That's why I'm out in front. I'm gonna go out first, really pay attention and uh, do my best. All right, here we go.
was four off, but I got back on. Yeah. But strike two. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I got bad tires. These tires are old. Uh, yeah, I know. All right, cool. Everything's good, though. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
closer to 90. Yep, this time you did a 94.1. Oh. <laughs> so this time, 94 decibels. Um, wow, okay. And that was after uh, getting on the throttle halfway before the um, top of turn six. And I just like, I'm really frustrated by that, but I know what I have to do. I have to get those bends that bend it, the exhaust 90 degrees. But we got some people here, we're having a good time. People came out to support us. It's my friend Sid who's also racing and his friend Ryan who's racing the Alpha. Uh, we're having a good time. More people are coming later, so thanks for stopping by. Okay, we're back home now. Let me just explain what happened. That last run, the third run, so sorry I forgot to film it from inside the car. That was epic. I got um, a 1 minute 55, a couple 156s, so really happy with the progress on a base map tune. Um, however, not having the alignment was really dumb. Um, I should have just planned better and figured out how to get one. I had <laughs> um, a really bad issue with the brakes. And that really, at the same time that the brakes were getting cooked, the alignment was getting screwed up in the front. So I was trying to fight to keep the wheel going straight, and it definitely wanted to veer to the to the right really bad uh, at the end of the third run. Um, the worst issue was the brakes. So the brakes, I definitely cooked in the front, and I ran out of pad on the outside on the driver's side. So I'm going to need new rotors now. But I had to get new calipers and a set of new pads and replace them at the track uh, before I went home. I mean, that's racing and all, but it's kind of low budget racing that I do. So that was uh, stressful. I didn't get to go to the fourth or fifth runs. Um, probably for the best, the, the alignment was really screwed up. It was, probably would have gotten worse. I'm not sure if it's caster on the left side or if it's toe on the left side, but it's really bad. So, uh, word to the wise, don't do a track day if you haven't made sure you've got plenty of pad uh, meat left and make sure you get an alignment. Make sure everything's tightened down, all the jam nuts are tightened down, your tie rods on your radius rods in the front. Just, just, it's just common sense. So I neglected that. I was working on VTEC and other things and just, that just slipped through. It's so easy to do and the car was up on all fours. Just really dumb that I forgot to do it. So that was a stressful end of the day, but so glad everybody was there. It was a lot of fun getting a 155 and getting some good footage for you guys was a lot of fun. All my friends came. So look forward to another one this season for sure where I'm fully prepared and have the better footage and we will have a blast, okay? So for this video, this is done. Falconator, signing out.